Hallelujah. <laughs> Good morning to you. We thank God this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We want to welcome you to this International Church of God by Faith prayer call. Once again, I am your host for this prayer call, uh, Minister Cornelius Dunmore Stark, Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than Presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. And we thank God for our district elder and father and the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District. And we thank God for you, every district, every local assembly represented on uh, this um, international prayer call. We thank God for um, the International Church of God by Faith. We thank God for Chile, glory to God, Monrovia, Liberia. We thank God for Haiti and Jamaica. We thank God for all around the world, the International Church coming together, standing on the word of the Lord. Uh, I said it again, this is the day, Psalms 118 and 24, that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. it the day is, is more than a 24-hour period. It's an era. It's a season. It's a time frame that God has uniquely crafted and he has put us into. And so we will rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because he's in it with us. Why? Because we have a strong king. Why? Because the word of the Lord is right all day long. And so we're so thankful for uh, this opportunity to be joined um, by a dynamic prayer leader. And uh, I'm fired up uh, always and crunk and lit and, and on 10. And I'm, I'm glad because even the more so because we're joined this morning by Superintendent Jimmy McDuffie, Miami District. God bless you. Elder, we love you, and um, I'm thanking God for him being, he's at the tip of the spear. He is our prayer leader this morning, and so I'm, thanking, I'm thankful to God, though, that we are joining with him to raise our voices. I'm thanking God for the word of the Lord coming out of Joel chapter 2, that the priest, that he, let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. But we find there that God had demanded and he had commanded that the people of God would all gather together. Glory to God. He says in Second Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people is looking for, a, for a, a large body of believers, as many as will, that will cry out to him. And so we thank God for that. And I want to say this now. I encourage you that the international prayer team has asked that we as a national and international church all around the world that we will come together this morning and that we would pray. And this, this, this prayer focus was set um, months before now. And so it was only the leading of God that directed us to this. And that it was that we would pray that God will protect and shield the church of God by faith. He will protect and shield us and that we will protect and shield ourselves from death. Glory to God. My understanding is, is that uh, up until last night, over 30 million individuals are out of work, uh, unemployed in the United States alone. We understand that um, the coronavirus or the COVID-19 has claimed uh, up to uh, over 60,000 individuals have died, over 247,000 worldwide. And so here in the, in the United States, um, the United States is leading the, uh, the mortality rate around the world by, by nations from COVID-19 at this present time. But we thank God that, as we said, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will what? Rejoice and be glad in it. We can be glad because God tells us in Psalms 125 and verse 1 through 2 that they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. He says, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth forever. That's the word of the Lord. That's why we can rejoice in this day and in this season that the Lord has made. We can also rejoice because he said in Matthew chapter 16, uh, glory to God, that I, he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He went on and said in the next verse, I'll give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth 
shall be loosed in heaven. We are not unarmed. We are not without keys and authority. You only give keys to someone that you trust. You only give keys to someone that has responsibility and authority. Glory to God. And that's what he's given to us. And finally, before we receive Superintendent McDuffie, um, the word of the Lord tells us in Proverbs chapter 6, this is from the ESV, verse 4 and 5. Give, no, uh, give your eyes no sleep and your eyelids no slumber. Save yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, like a bird from the hand of the fowler. The, 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 the proverb writer was telling the people that deliver yourself from debt. Don't allow yourself to become ensnared or enslaved or captured uh, by debt. He likened it to the nature videos and shows we watch with that gazelle running from that cheetah, running from that predator. Glory to God. That's the way he wants us to run. The Lord wants us to run from debt. And so with that, we're going to receive Superintendent McDuffie. We're praying this morning that God will shield this great church and he would also, we would also shield ourselves from debt, especially at this time. Let's receive Superintendent McDuffie now in Jesus' name. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our host this morning, Mr. Dumbo. We come, God, and we thank you for allowing us to be able to live and see this day, a new day that we've never seen before, how you watched over, you kept us, and you shielded us all night long. We realize and understand it wasn't our goodness, it was our mercy, our goodness and our uh, mercy that we are here by your grace, God. You touched us early this morning. And you call us to rise and see this day with the act of use of our limb and kindness of our mind. We come right now because God is gracious and you have brought us thus far. In the name of Jesus, we pray this morning, God, that you come and shield, Lord, the churches of God by faith. We pray this morning because we know you're able to bring deliverance on every side. We're living in a time where people, God, are losing hope. But in the name of Jesus, we pray that hope will spring up, God, like never before, because you, God, in the midst of every situation, regardless of what it looks like, what it feels like, we know you have never left us, nor will you forsake us. God, look on each and every heart this morning. Somebody's calling on you, God, that needs deliverance. Here we are, God, uh, united in prayer, thanking you for what you are doing right now. When those are saying, uh, what's causing this? Why well, we say it's your mercy and your grace, God. You have brought up to our knees. You say of my people, which are called by my name, shall honor themselves and pray and seek my face. Why are we seeking your face this morning? Because we know that you're able, God, to lift this. In the name of Jesus, let's stretch out your mighty hands this morning, God, like you always have done. In the name of Jesus, in the midst of what they're saying, the coronavirus have all oh, shut up and pinned down. But God, you've never been pinned down. You've never been shut up because you spoke this morning and the wind did blow. You spoke this morning and the sun did shine. God, we trust in you because you are a doctor. You are a great physician this morning. In the name of Jesus, we speak right now to those that's ready to lose their lives. God, put a shield on them. They have gave up hope. We come against that suicide spirit. We command it to loose here to back out. We command to live and not to die because you say you gave us life and that more abundantly, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the midst of their dark situation, bring them out, God. Many today, you God is supply, applying for uh, God and only problem. But God, is somehow, some way, the system been crashed, which you never crash, Lord. In the name of Jesus, open the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing, God. Those who don't have to get in a deep debt, God, just to keep shelter over their head. While we are saying that we thank you for our shelter over our head, Lord, we thank you for the food that you gave to us because it's a defense. It's a shield, God. You is our shield. You is our protection, God, in the name of Jesus. And you declare in your word that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. You reign on the just as well as the unjust. And, God, we need you in this hour, God, to open doors and make ways, God, in the name of Jesus, when looters and robbers is on the pride, and you say you have no pleasure in robbers, God, but somebody need to open the door, God, use a door open, use a way maker, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now 
for that individual God that said, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bill. But God, we know that you're the way maker. Make a way for that father and that mother God. They're committed, committed to be sealed under your blood, under your coming today, God. In the name of Jesus, when the enemy has come up on us, eat up our flesh. You declare that he was stumbling and fall. None of these things shall come near our dwelling. And we thank you this morning for being that type of God to look out and to take care of your people, God. In the time that we're living in, we ask you this morning to look on our bishop, look on his staff. God bless them right now. Continue, God, to give them shield and cover them that they'll forever, God, lead the church in the way that you should go. In the name of Jesus, you're the same God in the United States. You're the same God in Peru, Africa, Haiti, God. We ask you this morning, whatever the need is right there now, I know you're able, God. I believe you will. Touch, Lord. Every individual, God, open doors and make way. Because sometimes somebody don't have no food to eat. But we thank you for the food that you've been given throughout everybody. In the name of Jesus, we say you'll never. David said, I never thought of righteous forsaken. I never thought of righteous seeking for bread. And God uses the bread in a starving land. You water in dry places. We say, thank you. We give you glory this morning. Heal, Lord, from death this morning. In the name of Jesus, that we'll be able to do what you call us to do. That this gospel will continue to spread, God, to men and women, boys and girls. Those that don't have no hope, it'll bring hope in the midst of every situation God touched right now. Oh, God, bring your deliverance and every disease, God. We tell a man that thing to lose his hope, to get out of here. Because you the healer and you the deliverer. We pray the shield of faith over that, God. That the, the church of God by faith, God, would be a light in dark places. Be salt in unseasoned areas. Because we need you like never before, God. Rain down your mercy, God. Stretch out your hands on every church, God. In the name of Jesus, when we walk back to the house of God, you say, pray the Lord of the harvest. That he say, labor, God, into the vineyard. Touch people here and there, God. Boys and girls, men and women, open their hearts, open their minds, God. They'll realize they need you, God. We need you this morning. We thank you for bringing us together in a time of prayer, God. you never forsaken us. you never left us, God. And we're going to stand in the midst of every situation. We're going to hold up the blood stain better. Come with the people, God. Shield them right now. As the mountain is around Jerusalem, God, and the net is spread it out, God, give us a way to escape in the name of Jesus, through your blood, through your victory, God. We thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor, God, that no one will lose anything. But, God, we will increase from every time you declare in your word. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the death. It has been laid up too long, God. Open that door. Pour out a blessing, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the provision, God, that has been made. And thank you for allowing us to come before your song this morning. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We declare and we decree that, God, you're going to seal the churches of God by faith. We declare and we decree that death is going to overtake us, God, in the name of Jesus. Seal us, Lord. Seal us this morning. God, bring victory, God, out of every situation when it seems like there's no way out. God, make a way so you're the way maker. When the children of you know, got to the Red Sea, seemed like everything was going to stop. But God, you open the Red Sea. Somebody need to know you're the Red Sea opener. In the name of Jesus, oh God, bless right now. In the midst of God, spring up hope. Hope come alive. Hope come alive. Hope come alive. Stand fast, be a mover, always abiding in the work of the Lord. Here we are, God, trusting in you this morning. In the name of Jesus, bless this uh, call this morning. You say one could put a thousand to a flight, two could put ten thousand. Here we are, chasing that enemy, God. And we won't stop. We're going to stand on your word. We're going to believe you. Are you able to do all things? I heard you say, now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of the glory will have seen in the joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, 
dominion and power. You got power. You got enough power, God, just to wave your hand. And this coronavirus is go. I heard some say it's in the air, but I woke up believing this morning. You made the air. Since you made the air, God, you is in the air. We won't care where we go or what we do. We are in you and you are in us. In the name of Jesus, so it's abide in you. Here we are abiding in you. Our trust in you, our shield, God, and our bullock is under you. Spread your way like the, like the hen, God, in the midst of time of trouble, and we'll run up to you. There's a faith in that there. We thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We say right now, it is so. It is so in the name of Jesus. Bless this morning, God. Continue to stay in the Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The answer to the promises of God is yes and amen. Hallelujah. Yes to your word. Yes to your promises. Yes to your way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank God for you, Elder Superintendent Jimmy McDessie, Miami District. Thank God for you, man of God. Thank God for what he did. He did something. He said something. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I heard the man of God declare that Jesus Christ, the Lord, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I also distinctly heard him say that he is the same Lord over Monrovia. He's the same Lord over Africa. He's the same Lord over the the Caribbean and the West Indies. Oh, glory to God over South America, all around the world. He is the same Lord because the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. And if he is the same, which he is, thank God for you, Elder McDuffie, because if he is the same God, then that means that yes is the answer to his promises, that when we ask the Lord, God, shield this international church of God by faith and help us as the individual, help us as the church to shield ourselves from death, then yes, he is the same and yes, he has done it because we know that's what he has done before. He did it in Exodus chapter 12. Go back and check the record. Exodus 12 and Exodus 13, when the Israelites were coming out of Egypt, they didn't come out naked. They didn't come out destitute. They came out of bondage with resources, left out of Egypt that night with gold and with resources. It's representative to us that God knows how to bring a people through something and give them resources. He's the same God. Elder McDuffie, you're right. He's the same Lord. And so that's the reason why God will protect and shield his people. He was the one that said, when I see the the blood, I will pass over you, that the plague will not be upon you to destroy you. When I reach out and I judge the land, glory to God, he's the same Lord. He also is the same God, and I thank God because we will not become slaves to debt during this time. I know that there's 30 million unemployed plus. I know that just in the United States alone, but again, he's same yesterday, today, and forever. And so when Elijah was there uh, by the brook, uh, the Lord chose to take an unclean bird. Uh, go back and check the, uh, the Torah and check the, the Old Testament. You find that the raven was considered an unsanitary. It was considered an unclean animal. And God takes this unclean raven and then sustains the prophet there with an unclean animal, glory to God, and bringing him a, 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 a bread, bringing him meat. That's a sandwich, glory to God, bringing him food, glory to God, by the means of an unclean animal. And God, during this 
time of COVID-19 knows how to sustain a ministry, knows how to sustain individuals and leaders and uh, lay people. It knows how to sustain in the midst of a, of a famine and a pandemic God can sustain. He's the same. You're right, Elder McDuffie. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's why we know that God will heal this international church all over the world. And also, we will shield ourselves from death. We will run like that gazelle from that cheetah. He will not catch us today. Not today. He will not catch us. No, he will not. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because God is even now opening up provision. He's now opening up strategies and divine tactics. We have to God by faith, financial solutions. We have strategies and tactics. We have methods. We have keys and tools. Glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus, that the Lord is provision for us to continue to go through and sustain us with life. And so we just give Jesus all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We encourage you, come back again every first and third Monday as we go back before the presence of the Lord. Listen, this is the day, this is the season, the era, the time. Psalms 118 and 24, this is the day the Lord hath made. And so we will rejoice. We will be glad in this season and in this time. Let's go forward. Let's be the light. Let's shine brightly unto a world that needs it. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah. Glory to God.